Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Diane Desiel and today I want to show you how to assemble a flat collar or a Peter Pan collar to a bodice. But as you might know, there's always many ways to do the same thing and depending on your style. So I wanted to fit two different ways in this video but it was impossible so I'm going to start with the easiest way. So assembling a Peter Pan collar to the bodice with a facing and in my next video I'll show you a variation of the Peter Pan collar with a cord piping like this one and we'll assemble it with a bias finishing so make sure you watch my next video also. For this first collar I assemble a bodice, a plain bodice with the front opening and one way to, to sew the Peter Pan collar to a bodice is with a facing. So I assemble my front facing to my back facing at the shoulder, that's already done. And now for my collar, I cut my top collar and my bottom collar. For that one, I did use a fabric manipulation, so I stitched the fabric manipulation to my, under, to my top collar and I'm going to remove the excess of fabric be created by the manipulation. Once your excess is clean, you're going to place the under collar over your top collar and assemble with your regular seam allowance from center front the contour of the collar until center front. As you could see, my under collar is a little smaller than my top collar and that's why you put the biggest one under the teeth of the, f of the machine should grab the excess because the fabric is going to move much faster under than on top. But if it's not enough, you might have to pull slightly on the contour to make sure that you're going to reach to the center back notch that you place on your collar. Go and make your seam. Now that the seam is done, you can see better on that side, you're going to take your time and notch, a little V-notch, one after the other, very even, so you're going to have a very nice curve when you turn it. If you leave bigger space, the curve is not going to be so soft, so take your time and notch all around the contour of your collar. Now that all the notches are done, we're going to go back to the sewing machine and do an understitch. And the understitch is going to be on the under collar at one millimeter from the seam, grabbing all the seam allowance with the understitch. So one millimeter on the under collar. Now that the understitch is done, I'm going to be able to show you why we're doing it and also why we're doing the top collar a little bit wider. So I'm just going to push it out and look if I put my two neckline together, I'm holding it, I show you the under, you see now the three millimeter bigger is going to hide the under layer. So if you use a different fabric collar, it's really good and you don't have to center your seam. The under stitch is going to allow you to press without fighting to center the seam because it's pushing already your curve outside. It's pushing the fabric so really you just have to press it down like that. No hard work. Before to press, I suggest you go stitch your two neckline together, so maybe at uh, half your seam allowance or 5mm, you stitch your two layer of collar together 
and then you do your pressing. When your color is finished, press and that your seam, your neck seam are sewn together or stitched together, you're going to sew it to the bodice. So my bodice is already assembled. I'm going to sew the collar on the wrong side or the under collar facing the good side of my fabric, starting at the center front and make sure you align the seam line. So even if your collar has an angle, it is at the seam line that you position it at the center front and you're going to sew all around the neck until the other center front notch. Again, make sure it's the seam line that's going to be at center front. So just do a seam all around. When the collar is sewn to your neck, you're going to take your facing and assemble the facing to the bodice. But we're going to do that assembling in three steps. One side with the facing at the overlap. So you're going to do your seam, open the facing and under stitch on the facing at one millimeter. You're going to do that on both sides. Assemble open the facing and under stitch on the facing at one millimeter. We now have the facing attached to the center front on both sides. We have one last seam to do. It's the neckline. So we're going to assemble the neckline together. So face to face, good side with good side. Assemble from one side to the other and make sure that your seam allowance goes towards the facing and your understitch should help you for the direction. So seam allowance towards the facing. We're going to assemble the neckline together. Now that the neck is sewn, we're going to notch diagonal all along this, the seam that we just did. I'm cutting about every centimeter. When you finish doing your notch, your large notch, uh, you're going to turn your facing around at the corner, send your seam allowance in the same direction that you already have sent the, the facing part. So you just send them the same direction with your thumb inside. Just use that thickness to push the corner out and you should have a perfect corner because it's a 90 degree, you don't have to cut anything. And what we're going to do, we're going to go back in, on the sewing machine and do an under stitch on the facing at one millimeter from the seam. We start as far as we can and we'll finish pretty much at the same distance, but this is inside anyway. So one millimeter on the facing side. As you could see, our first Peter Pan collar is sewn to the bodice with the facing, and the only thing left we would have to do is attach the facing to the bodice at the shoulder. So you would place them together face to face, the seam face to face, and at the machine, you would attach seam allowance for a little distance. Just stitch them together so they're not gonna come out easily. So just like that, when you wear your garment, see this side is coming out and that one stays in place. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy and I hope you'll be able to do some nice little flat collar. And I say thank you for watching and I see you next time. Mm -hmm.